Hi, we're the team from Vincent in Wallara in Sydney. We're here to prepare a rum bar for you today. So the main process for making the baba is very straightforward. We're going to heat the milk to blood temperature and cream in some of the dried yeast. If you don't have dried yeast available, you can substitute with fresh yeast. Uh, also going to have half of the sugar and sprinkle on top of a tiny little bit of flour and let that activate for a couple of minutes just so that the yeast starts to, uh, to feed. Then uh, we're going to sieve the flour on top of the yeast mixture with the remaining sugar and, and beat that together until uh, it's all incorporated. So once the dough comes away from the side of the mixing bowl, we're going to incorporate the eggs one by one and then we'll add the, the butter in the same fashion just until everything's really nice incorporated and a nice smooth silky dough is achieved. The next step that we'll do is to leave that dough prove in a nice warm place until it's pretty much doubled in bulk. Then with our lined bubble moulds, we're going to take that dough using two spoons, portion the dough from the mixing bowl into the, the moulds and then let them rise in the same fashion again until they're pretty much doubled in size. Once that is doubled in size and we're happy, slide that into a, an oven at about 180 degrees for 30 minutes until they're nicely browned evenly all the way around. Take them directly out of the oven, tap them out of the mould. Now at this stage they can be added directly to the uh, bubba liquid which is basically sugar syrup that's been fortified with some really nice quality rum, some spices of your choice, whatever you like. And then basically that's all there is to be done once the bubbers have nicely soaked up all the syrup, take them out to drain a little bit and then serve with some really nice vanilla cream and whatever seasonal fruits available and it can be embellished with really whatever garnish you choose. And that's pretty much it, hook in.